Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. I'm here with another statue unboxing and review. This time, we got the old school OG, triple OG, Cyclops premium format exclusive from Sideshow Collectibles. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and unbox this old school Sideshow piece. Uh, no, I didn't buy this. This is my boy Adrian's. He dropped it on me along with a couple other pieces that I'm going to review. And he's got them all for sale. So if you're interested in buying any of these pieces, uh, definitely hit me up. Uh, just comment in here and then uh, we can work it out if it's something you're interested in. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. I always wanted to see this piece in person. Uh, so let's take a look, y'all. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a very thin box. Here goes the artwork on the box, on the sides, on the front and back, the top here. This one is number 318 out of 500. It looks like, yep, yeah, it comes with an art print, must be what the exclusive is. Adrian probably never even opened this thing. So I like how they got the uh, cardboard has art on it as well. Nice. Here goes your art print. All right, so on the top layer, you got his jacket, which I think is very cool. It reminds me of the uh, X-Men 90s cartoon. Set this bad boy up, y'all. All right, we'll take out the base first. Oh, there's a battery option here. The visor must light up. You got a rock base. Here's the bottom. And it's got a Magneto helmet, which is in the back of the base. I know some of the complaints on this piece was that you can't really see it when you're posing it. I guess depending on how you have it, but it's in the back of the base. Looks good, though. Fully sculpted Cyclops. Very nice. Now we got some different portraits and different hands here. Face <laughs> always gets me. All right, cool. So you got a couple sets of hands. That hand goes with his um, unmasked portrait. Got an arm. I 
Uh, so let's see how we get these arms going in. Magnet there. How does this go? Cool. So there we go. All right, y'all. That boy Cyclops, a.k.a. Scott Summers, leader of the original X-Men team, big brother to Havoc, first appeared in X-Men number one way back in 1963. You got to remember, this is an older piece. This is classic Sideshow. And I got to be honest, it looks really nice, man. In person, it's big. You can see how big it is compared to me. Fully sculpted. I thought it had mixed media, but I guess that's just the jacket here. This is going to be your better pose. Now, it has a light-up feature, but I, I'm not going to mess. It's not my piece. I'm not going to mess with all the batteries and everything. <clears throat> the rock base has good texture. It reminds me of like the XM Studios uh, Sandman, how that looks like granular, like sandy. Well, this looks very good with the rocks. It has a lot of different colors. From light brown to gray to dark gray, blackish. That looks good. The Magneto helmet looks really good. As you can see, it, uh, it's made to look like the rock is inside of the helmet as well. Even on the inside on the top there. I'm going to have to get a good shot of that so you can see. His boots look really good sculpted. You can see the creases in the front of the boot there and by his ankle. Uh, the bottom of the shoes, you can see the buckles on the top of the boots. Even on the blue part, you can see the wrinkles and to let you know that it's fabric. You can see like uh, the different muscles in his legs there. The paint is okay. That's pretty good. You got some, some shading going on in there. Some of the line work maybe by the pants is a little sloppy. But pants look just as good. Uh, you have the pouches, all the pouches going all around them. Have you ever seen an X-Men character use anything out of their pouches? I mean, Batman, you see them use it all the time. But I feel like with these X-Men guys, you never see it. So you do have a seam there where the arm connects. I guess, you know, there's no way really around that. The red paint looks a little light. I don't know why there's red in the lines of his um, suspender. <laughs> you can see that the definition in the abs sculpted really well. The gloves have good highlights in them. It's not just yellow. They have a lot of uh, texture in the neck piece of the, of the costume. It makes it look like it's leather. The sculpt... Uh, on this piece is where we kind of fall short a little bit. He looks like uh, Kind of weird man This is like old-school sideshow just like the old-school Captain America. It's not as crazy detailed The hair looks decent on the top of the head and the, and the sculpture of the hair is good But up by the hairline it kind of looks like he's got hair plugs his nose and his face just look kind of off He is looking up too, so you got to remember this is a good piece uh, to have posed looking down It's a little hard to get the head off because it is pl has plugged in there All right, so let's try the other Portrait so you could switch out the hand instead of him going like this for his optic blast You got him lifting off his glasses for what is probably one of the ugliest portraits of all time. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is what happens when you're, you're hand sculpting back in the day. His mouth looks like too much circular and his teeth look kind of weird. Inside the mouth looks okay. His eyes look crazy. Everything else looks good. It's just the facial expression does not look good. <laughs> He got a mouth like a fucking large mouth bass. Yeah, I think it was a good idea. It was cool to include the hand with the glasses. He's taking off the glasses. He's ready to uh, optic blast that ass. 
But, um, yeah, it just makes him look ugly as shit. Jean Grey would never holler at your boy like this. Never. And then you could even take off the fist, and you have another option for an open hand. No, I can't do that. Yeah. You know, you got an open hand, like, what do you want from me? Hold up! Ugh. Let's take a look at this jacket. Kind of reminds me of, like, the Hellboy jacket. Working with pythons like Cyclops, what are you gonna do, you know? Oh, your boy done did it. Got that jacket on, y'all. So there you go, mixed media jacket. I guess you got to appreciate them giving you an option whether you want to have it on or not, because they could have had it fully sculpted and you would have been stuck with it if you didn't like it. So there goes Cyclops. The jacket is like, you know, material. Very difficult to get on. And then your there's your 90s cartoon, Cyclops. Cool, man. So it's a classic piece. I mean, I know XM Studios has um, a Cyclops coming out. But if you're a fan of the classics, if you like the OG Sideshow pieces, hit me up. I'm not sure what it's selling for. Whatever it's going for is whatever we're selling it for. Um, definitely like it better than I thought it was going to. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. So cool, man. Drop me a like. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, hit me in the comments if you're looking to get this piece. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more statue unboxing and reviews. Usually I do new statues, but I had an opportunity to review a couple old school pieces, so I figured what the hell. All right, y'all. That's Cyclops. I'm Gem Mint. Y'all stay minty fresh. Peace. Peace.